On their arrival in Morocco, Anthony and his companion Philip found lodges in a Christian household and started to learn the local language. Unfortunately, a few weeks later, he fell ill with a burning fever. He had contracted malaria. Days passed, turned into weeks, but Anthony's health did not improve. Slowly he realized that he had probably forced the hand of God, who probably had other plans for him. There was nothing left to do but return to Coimbra. However, as soon as uh, the boat uh, they were traveling on was about to reach uh, the Iberian Peninsula, a terrible storm broke out and took it of course. God alone could help them. Although Antonio could not be a missionary in Morocco, he always remained a missionary in his heart. Many people imagine a missionary as a priest, a religious man or a woman who goes out to evangelize and help people in poor countries. This is a simplistic view. In reality, we should all be missionaries according to our talents. In fact, Pope Francis said during one of his homilies, every Christian is called to be a missionary, sharing the good news of salvation in Christ and making disciples for him. Let us pray, therefore, through the intercession of St. Anthony. O oh my God, who have given us a sound intellect and a loving heart, help us to be your missionaries in our families, with our relatives, with our neighbors, in our workplace, wherever we are, so that we may bring your love to anyone in need. Amen.